Hello and welcome to the detail. So not only does it have this snazzy scene, look at this. I mean, what is this? It's amazing. It's guns, obviously, and glass. Um, this is a game that came out reasonably recently. Um, it's an episodic again. It's a point and click. It has been compared to Telltale. Whether it stands up against Telltale, I don't know. But it's a modern day detective story police cop shit in it which is perfect for detective week so without further ado let's play episode one where the dead lie just another murder investigation it sounds strange but to me that's all they are now i like this it's very film noir and a bit comic-y and you know all that shit that must be me just another murder investigation until someone you know gets killed. That's when things get personal, when they hit home. That's when you start asking if you could have done something different, chosen different, and you'll keep on asking. You'll play out all those scenarios in your head, only to find out that you could have gone down another path. It feels like any minute now I'm supposed to start spitting lyrics, but you probably wouldn't have. Not because of fate or anything, but because of who you are. And that never changes. It's a bit of a ramble there, mate. Bit of a distorted ramble. Oh, I need to click. So, I'm driving into the city. Driving into city. To Adam 7 to dispatch, arrive at the scene, roger that, proceed with security check, over. Let's go. Yes, sir. Remember, Kate? Oh, one of them's a woman? We're here to check out a known child molester. Ah! Oh, no, there's blood. It's red. Oh, no. Oh, no. Arrow to kick in the door. Or... Fuck that, bitches! Oh. What? Oh, hello. No, 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 I got this. I got this. I got this. This is a clever mechanic. I like this. Oh, fuck. No, no! Fuck! Yes! Click! Clack. Click, clack. Oh, let's go. We've got the element of surprise. Let's check our fucking corners, bitch. You should know by now. Roger that. Going that way. Let's do it. This is pretty cool. It's probably saved a bit of money on the old voice acting. It's pretty cool. So it's clear in the television room. The lounge. The television room. Bitch, who's to the side? Let's see. There's no one in the bathroom, or is there? No, there's no one in the bathroom. Okay. Ah! Says a person. There's someone in there. There's someone in there. We caught you red fucking handed, bitch. You put that girl down and you walk away. No, you weren't playing. You step away from her. That's right. Arrest him, Kate. Oh, shit! He kicked her. Oh, no. She hit me. We all both fell over. I dropped my gun. And the man is gonna... What's he doing? Oh god, is he gonna beat her up? Oh my god, he's gonna punch her. Block! That's it, Kate. Fuck him up. Twat him in the face. Headbutt him, headbutt him, headbutt him. Oh, oh dear. Okay, he's knocked her over. He's gonna choke her to death. Fuck no! Uh, Blind him, blind him! That usually gets them to fucking take their hands off people. Oh, not. Grab it. Smack him in the face. Thump. Shouldn't it be thump? Come on, Kate. Good girl. She got him. You okay? Useless man on the floor. Booyah! Another sex offender caught. You really put up a fight. Stick him into interrogation. So I think that's mainly us, but it's it's kind of hard to tell. There's quite a lot of different people. Where are they? Where are what? A who? I don't even know what you're talking about. 
Don't play we motherfucker. There we go. We just found the cool guy. We found you standing over a little girl. Now, where are the others? Oh, God, has he got... Is he like a... Um, not a smuggler, what they're called. You know what I mean. What girl? Seriously, what is this all about? You slimy piece of shit. This is getting us nowhere, Tyrone. <laughs> Tyrone! Fuck! Let me handle this. Uh, pointy arrows stand for mutually exclusive choices. Pressure or grab his collar. Who's playing bad cop? I'm playing good cop, right? So should we do pressure? Tyrone's doing bad cop. Let's do pressure. Look, dipshit. I have two officers placing you at the scene. They literally caught you with your dick in your fucking hand. They must have bad eyesight or maybe they're... No, I saw it too, mate. All the fucking viewers saw it. Don't you be lying to us. I'm gonna intimidate your face off. We're giving you the chance to come clean. Rape and murder. You're looking at the gas chamber, son. Unless you tell us where the thir third girl... Well, where was the second girl? Or was that, that she, Was she the second girl and the first girl was... Oh, maybe. I'm looking at two pathetic cops throwing wild accusations without any proof to back them up. Oh! Why don't you just give up already? Shouldn't I have a lawyer with me or something? You think so, huh? Fucking bitch. We're gonna grab your colour. You think I'm playing around here? What the hell? Reggie! Oh. You can't do this to me. I'll sue your ass. Do I look like I give a fuck? I don't, really. Reggie, what am I doing? I'm gonna ask you to leave, Tyrone. Why don't you take a coffee break and close the blinds? You know how this works, dude. No, Reggie, I got this. I can swing this. He'll talk. All right then, Tyrone. I'll give you one shot, one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted. One moment. Don't fuck it up. I'm gonna offer him a deal. I'm not waiting for the lawyer. I mean, he wants his lawyer, but we don't have to wait for the lawyer, right? We can offer him deals now and make him squirm. I'll tell you what, mate. A life in Supermax, high security, lenient sentence. If you tell us where she is, we'll give you a lenient sentence. I don't think this is how it's gonna work. I don't think he's gonna care regardless of what we do. I fucking hate myself in the morning for this, but I'll cut you a deal. If you tell us where the girl is, we'll push for a plea bargain in exchange for your cooperation. Get that in writing for me and you've got yourself a deal. I'll help you find the little brat. I already had my fun with her anyway, you fucked up piece of shit. God damn it. Oh, colour. Southern colour. I like this. I like this. It's very, it's very arty in a nice sort of different way. I say different, very comic, film noir sort of style. I do like that every now and then. It's also, I guess, a quite, I don't know, I assume it's a little bit of a cheaper way of producing, but it still means it looks really fucking nice. Solid music as well. I think this was a good call. I should do different voices, but the details, guys, the fucking details. Miscarriage of justice. Oh God, lost girls found molesting from minimal sentence exchange. Plea bargain. Oh dear, that was me. That was me, I did a bad. Hello? Oh, it's, it is in colour. I completely forgot this. Hello? Who's this? She looks odd. God damn it. What's the matter, Reggie? Your eyes look weird. Don't know why. I think I preferred it in black and white. It's just the job, Molly. It gets to me. It's a hard day at the office, huh? A hard gear, more like it. How's the back? worse than the job and it won't go away at retirement it probably would because then you wouldn't be doing stupid work like really bad twisting motions and things like that, that you know you do in a job unless you're going to work a lot at home and do some renovations you know i could give you the number of this fantastic massage therapist i thought you were my massage therapist mm -hmm. 
<laughs> oh, you know what I mean. Thanks, Molly, but I've got it under control. With those pills, you mean? You've been taking those since ever since I know you've been taking those ever since I know you. They aren't for free, are they? So he's taking pain meds. Is he basically the police version of House? So that's what happened. You've tried the massage stuff, but it didn't do anything for me. Right. Can we talk about something else now? All right, Reggie, but you need to buy me that drink. I'm starting to get the stink eye from Caesar. Okay, okay. So, his nails were horrible. God damn it, hold on. Tyrone's calling me. What is it, Tyrone? Hello, Tyrone. You look far younger in color than in black and white. We've got work. Does it have to be we tonight? It's my turn as primary. Fine, okay. And you're outside with coffee. Well, in that case, I, you know, I gotta go. Bye, Molly. I gotta go. I, I the, this, there we go. I gotta go. He's got coffee for me and everything. I can't say no to that. Man turns up outside my bar, not my house. So we're out. Found a crime scene. I better take this. See what the lieutenant wants. Bing bing. Bing bing. Bing bing. Bing bing. Detective Moore. Reggie, you at the scene? I just fucking got here, dude. I've literally just got here. How bad is it? I don't know. Apparently, it's quite bad though, Kirk. Captain Kirk? No. Um, I haven't really had a chance, mate, because you literally just rung me. I just got out my fucking car, but apparently it looks quite bad and everyone's turned up to see what it is and the press is here already. Uh, and, yeah, the last thing you need is another PR nightmare, not now, which is why you've assigned me, the guy who gave the guy the deal, to come and work this as well, which is sensible. Right, i got to go, dude. Um, yeah, we need to call someone fast. Got a lot of heat coming with the deputy chief on this. Yep, 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 yep. Well, I will do when you get off the fucking phone. Is that April O'Neil? No, it's Nadia Roberts. Right, police officers. To serve and protect. I wonder, does someone still believe in that? Because that sure as hell don't. Oh, God, okay. Go to the crime scene. I'm not talking to the reporters. We don't want to do that. Oh, I see. So that's how it works. You scroll. I like the music. I like the graphics. His head looks a bit weird, misshapen. Satan has you, charming. Oh, okay. What about Mike Graves? He used to be a crime tech. Then the city made budget cuts. He now serves as an overburdened coroner investigator. He's been dealing with this shit longer than me. Yep, yep, yep. Body, that's what I wanted. Let's see the body, dude. Oh, there's a thing over there. We'll check it out in a minute. What have we got here? Male, Caucasian, late 50s. One bullet hole in the back of the head with substantial GSR. Gunshot residue around it. Exit wounds through the lower face. So it was a back of the head execution style. Thinking mafia, maybe? We are in New York, right? So he's got a broken wrist and GSR on his right hand. So assumedly he has also shot a gun with his right hand and someone grabbed his wrist and wrestled it out of his hand and broke his wrist in the process um i don't see any other guns around here which means someone took the gun with them briefcase oh drugs what the looks like a kilo of coke so they killed him but they didn't take the drugs that's a lot of money. I wonder why they left it. It beats me. Oh, it beats me too. Okay. I'm good with that. The gun. So serial number's been filed off, which is not that uncommon. You won't find it in the registry anyway. Some splatter. Ugh. It's covered in brain tissue. Well, it would be because it's a close range shot in it. Um, any fingerprints? You got any fingerprints? Only prints for the victim. Okay, so someone knew what they were doing then. I guess. Bullet casings. Uh, do they match the gun? From the looks of it, we'll get confirmation when the ballistic report comes back. Uh, the number of shells. There's two ways to say the number of shells is accurate. I just need something to go on. The amount of shells matches the bullet wounds, but we haven't searched the surroundings yet. So there might be more. Um, and we won't. We probably won't get any fingerprints from... 
the bullet casing for God's sake. Because, yeah, I don't know, maybe. It's a bit hopeful, isn't it? What is that on his ankle? Dogs, dogs, dog bites. Was that before he died? I'm assuming it was before he died. So, I mean, I, I assume you could give me some sort of estimation, but pff, I guess not, Mike, thanks. Is there anything else? His right elbow and knee were busted pretty good. Do you know how? His elbow was twisted violently and his knee took a severe impact to the side, shattering the patella completely. So that's the elbow on the same side as the wrist, yeah? Which means that someone properly did a number to get the gun out of his hand. And the knee impact to the side sounds like um, a move that I used to know in, or a move that I was taught in self-defense class, which is that you kick the knee into the side to disable your opponent and run if you're being attacked. Um, it will destroy that person's knee for probably the rest of their life, but if you're getting attacked with the possibility of being raped or murdered. Eh. Um, okay. That's got to hurt. Yeah, well done. Okay. So, yeah. I, I, uh, can I get out of this? Ah, there we go. I will leave. Thanks.